from News 13, the latest breaking news, county by county coverage, plus weather on the ones. This is your midday news weather now. Plus, we're talking about the future of Florida's death penalty. We're going in depth discussing what changes the law will be seeing. I'm Jackie Brockington, and right now we're taking a look at the future of Florida's death penalty. I'm joined here by Professor Catherine Puzzoni, and you're going to sort everything out for us so we can kind of understand what's going on. Uh, let's start with right now the U.S. Supreme Court deems the death penalty unconstitutional. Florida officials are now looking to come up um, with a law that will allow the practice to continue as long as the crime warrants the punishment. So let's um, start with that. Okay, what happened was the U.S. Supreme Court held that Florida's death penalty statute was unconstitutional for two reasons. First of all, it did not allow the jurors to find all of the relevant facts before imposing a sentence of death. Mm -hmm. And number two, Florida was one of only three states that did not require a unanimous jury to vote for death. So after that decision came down, the Florida legislature passed a new statute that required the jury to make all the relevant findings, but required only a 10 to 2 vote to impose a death sentence. So last week, the Florida Supreme Court looked at that statute and held it was unconstitutional because the Florida law now requires a unanimous jury, but the statute has not been rewritten yet. Oh, okay. So, and the Florida legislature doesn't convene until March. Okay. So um, how does this affect the people that are currently on death row? It's very complicated. Um, the Florida Supreme Court court looked at that in two separate opinions and this the, the I'm sorry the case that the US Supreme Court decided came out of an earlier US Supreme Court case that was decided in 2002 mm -hmm. called Ring versus Arizona which held that all relevant findings must be made by a jury. But that holding was not applied to Florida until 2016. So what the Florida Supreme Court did was say that if your case was final, was over before 2002, mm -hmm. your death sentence stands. If your death sentence became final after 2002, then you may need to be resentenced. Oh, so it's a good thing? It's, it should, it appears that about half of the people on Florida's death row will be resentenced. Okay, so last week the Florida Supreme Court ordered a ruling that would have stopped any future death mm -hmm. penalties uh, cases from being tried, but as you said, rescinded it hours later. So what do you think led to such a quick change in that? I looked at that. It appears that that one opinion was issued by mistake. Oh, okay. So right now, all we know is that the current Florida death penalty statute that's on the books is unconstitutional. So until the legislature rewrites the statute and it gets passed by, by the Florida legislature, Florida does not have a death penalty right now. So how does the change, uh, does not have a death penalty does not, right, right now? We do not have a constitutional death penalty statute. Okay, so how does the change, uh, how does this change the jobs and approaches of prosecutors and defense attorneys then? That's a very interesting question. Um, if somebody is arrested now, there is no, constitutional death penalty statute under which they can be tried. It's interesting because the shooting that happened at the Fort Lauderdale airport, um, they want to know whether they should charge him with the death penalty. Mm -hmm. And so that might change a lot of things. That also was an airport, which I believe would give the federal the government federal. jurisdiction. Okay. So they may be able to, even if there's a problem with Florida's death penalty, the federal government, the federal government can prosecute. Okay, so what do you think is going to be the final outcome when all is said and done about all of this? I have no idea, honestly, and especially when you're looking at a U.S. Supreme Court with a vacant seat. Mm -hmm. I think, honestly, I don't, certainly I can't predict it. I honestly don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you think that other states that still have the death penalty in places will look at Florida when and coming to future decisions? I think everybody's looking at this saying it is so difficult to construct a constitutional death penalty statute um, because the jury is required to listen to all of the facts, both aggravating and mitigating, and weigh them against each other. And this is something that I talk to my students about. How can a human being do that? On the one hand, you have a horrible tragedy. You, you know, you have the death of an innocent person. It's right. very often a brutal crime. It almost always is. And 
On the other hand, you have, you know, what, the person who would be my client, because I'm a defense attorney. And when we go back and research their lives, you always, almost inevitably, find not just child abuse, but torture and severe mental illness and kids who are locked in closet and beaten with belts and burned with, you know, being chased with knives and covered in cigarette burns. I had a client once who was dipped in boiling water by his own mother. Mm. So how can a jury weigh those two things? That's what we're asking jurors to do. And honestly, that's how I ended up becoming a juvenile defense attorney, is after many, many years of defending those cases and looking at the childhoods, saying maybe I can help more by going back in the beginning and trying to prevent these crimes by happening. Although let's talk about an adult. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you have an adult who shoots someone mm -hmm. and without a doubt mm -hmm. has confessed to this, mm -hmm. um, you know, we have to go through the whole process, mm -hmm. but if they've confessed and everything and, um, you know, what then? I mean, they've already said I've done it. But it's still the aggravating versus the mitigating circumstances, like, right, what made them do it? Were they psychotic at the time? Were they on drugs? Was it a result of horrendous torture that they mm. suffered as a child? Or that, you know, were they suffering from some kind of PTSD? The jury has to look at the individual facts and circumstances of every case. So the... Hmm. There's always going to be, um, you know, a lot of controversy about mm -hmm. the death penalty. Many people are very adamant. They, they say yes and some say no. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I think we will. Okay, Professor. Thank you so much. Thank you.